When you hear Cleveland, what do you think about? My name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be back in my hometown with my new family. The Drew Carey Show. Fun times in Cleveland today. River that catches on fire. All our fish have AIDS. We're not Detroit. We're not Detroit. Quote. What's the difference between Cleveland and Cincinnati? If you see someone in Cincinnati with a baseball bat, it's because they're going to play baseball with it. Truth. LeBron. Ohio. Cleveland. Exclamation mark. This is for you. I moved to Cleveland a couple years ago. For the cost of living it's really not a bad place to live. There's a lot of good food and good beer. So I'm still working my way through a lot of new places. They have a really good park system. Cleveland Metro Parks. So there's lots of outdoor activities. Weather permitting. Seems like most of the long-time residents like the city for what it is. But are cognizant of what it isn't. Cleveland Steamer. Isn't that the city where the river lit on fire from such bad pollution a few decades back? The one and only. Browns. My favorite euphemism for pooping is asterisk taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. Asterisk. So you've never pooped? The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Cleveland Orchestra and Mitchell's Homemade Ice Cream Monsieur. And the Cleveland Orchestra, one of the best. Oh man I can't wait for this quarantine to be over so I can get some Mitchell's. Thanks for the reminder loudly crying. Place I had my honeymoon. And yes, that is actually where we went. My husband's grandmother was unable to travel so we went to the closest major city to her. He was the first, and only even 10 years later, of her grandchildren to get married and he wanted to be able to include her. So we went and took a day out of the honeymoon to visit her. 10 out of 10, would repeat, found a nice historic B&B, visited the Rock and Roll Museum, went shopping downtown, we had a blast. Well, that's the first time I've ever heard Cleveland and honeymoon in the same sentence that wasn't we. Got the hell out of Cleveland for our honeymoon. I live here so I know these things. I'm a Browns fan. So, sadness. But mostly I think of the Cleveland episode of 30 Rock. What a goddamned masterpiece that show was. For God's sake. Lemon. We'd all like to flee to the Cleve. And club hop down at the flats. And have lunch with little Richard. But we fight those urges. Because we have responsibilities. My family is from Cleveland. My uncle and little Richard are on a first name basis. Though I'm pretty sure he hit it off with him at a hotel in Tien Not Oh. My other uncle belongs to the church from the Deer Hunter. My other uncle played in the Parma High School Band on the Christmas Story movie soundtrack. I remember my grandparents talking about explosions downtown when they were at a doctor's appointment at the Cleveland Clinic while they were filming I think one of the Captain America movies downtown Cleveland definitely has its quirks and charms and the best ballpark with some of the best food around a Browns fan god god what a masochist I'm not even from Cleveland or Ohio or the Midwest or even America I'm British but stiff upper lip and all that Okay, as someone born and raised in Cleveland, why are you a Browns fan? The year was 2004. I made two new friends, both of whom were half American. They knew that I had watched a little hand egg and insisted I picked a team to root for. I tried to avoid picking a team that would regularly face my friends' teams. Green Bay and New England. Thinking I understood the cyclical nature of the game and building success through the draft I decided to pick a team with a less than ideal record. My knowledge of the game could then grow alongside the win tally of my team this year the rest is history. Sad, sad history. Go Browns. If the whole world moved to their favorite vacation spots, then the whole world would live in Hawaii and Italy and Cleveland. Quote, Bone Thugs. Rick Wildthing, Vaughn, Jake Taylor, Willie Mays Hayes and the rest of the Major League gang. West Side Market. Je sways to Cleveland, a quote from a movie in my French class in high school. That it rocks. I was once sitting in a bus terminal in Cleveland. 
Oh, a woman leaned over and vomited all over the floor. That's what I think about. You think so poorly of it that you didn't spell it correctly despite it being in the post title. No I'm just terrible at spelling. 0 to 16. Cleveland Zoo and why do they have better roads than Erie, Pennsylvania? Cleveland is the reason by Kid Cudi. No 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 no. A351. Hell yeah brother canted valves, huge ports, high RPM screamer. Home, baseball, superior fa, the flat, Ohio City, and Tremont. The Azur Lane ship, I was looking for this. My man. I think of the Cuyahoga River on fire. I have two friends that moved from there in 1969, to Seattle. Same here, she left the same day she graduated from high school to come to the west coast. LeBron James, he's from Akron. Yes, but he played basketball in Cleveland. As a Michigander, I'm obligated to hate Ohio. However, I love Cleveland for three reasons. One, if it wasn't for Cleveland, there would be no major league. Two, it's where a Christmas story was filmed, and you can still visit the house and be part of the magic. Three, Drew Carey, Bone Thugs and Harmony. The Science Center, Natural History Museum, Art Museum Monsieur I live in Nea, Ohio and as a kid one of my favorite things was to go to all of the exhibits. Home, I live here lol. Fun times in Cleveland today. Cleveland, come on down to Cleveland town everyone. Rock and roll, the only real answer. I think of the sign that says Painesville 50 miles and my older brother punching me and being like, haha welcome to Painesville, Ohio. Ted Mosby. Interestingly, the actor who played him is from Columbus. I think. At least it's not Detroit. When I was about four years old my older brother and dad went on a trip to South America. Since it was just my mom and me she took me on a small trip to Cleveland to visit some family. In my mind, both trips were equally exciting. I would tell people, my brother is going to Ecuador but I get to go to Cleveland. Quote. Fun fact. Cleveland is actually doing pretty well now. I lived there in 2019 and it's really come around, one of the best summers of my entire life. Housing is cheap. Food and resources are cheap, of course it's not Minneapolis or Chicago. In terms of size and youth culture. But it's anything anyone wants it to be right now. It needs even more young people to give it an even better vibe. Cleveland has some wonderful neighborhoods like a Lakewood and Brook Park. It has many museums and things to do downtown. Sometimes I forgot that I was in Cleveland because downtown looks like Chicago on nice days. It even has the Glenn Research Center which is where NASA tests things in supersonic and hypersonic wind tunnels. Depending on where you go, Cleveland has some really nice parks and hiking trails. Of course there are the not-so-good bits like every major metro area. Fun fact, East Cleveland is not the eastern side of the city but its own little area. Avoid that area. So when I hear Cleveland, I think of some of the best days of my life. It was spectacular and now that I'm no longer living there I definitely miss being there. Cleveland, city of light, city of magic. Always think of Major League when I hear that song. I love the juxtaposition of that line from the song as the intro sequence of the movie shows giant factories billowing out giant clouds of smoke. So magical. Lake effect snow. Rust. Ohio cause I live in Columbus lol. Mistake by the M.I. Lake. Kid Cudi. Ohio. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh and Nautica stage down at the flats. Bad venue to load in and out of but still a lot of fun. Agora Theater. Husband proposed to me in the pit purple heart. You gotta live somewhere, suggested motto for Cleveland, Jimmy Brogan. Brown Super Bowl 2021 baby. Drew Carey, Cleveland rocks. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. That river that was so polluted it was on fire in 10 cent beer night. I'm from Warren, Ohio, about 45 minutes south of Cleveland. I started going to rock shows at 10 years old. Moved away when I turned 18. Point is, 
I've probably been to 50 concerts in Cleveland. Bands always stop in Cleveland. It's right on the tollway to everywhere else. I wouldn't be me without Grog Shop, Odeon, Agora, Nautica, Blossom, and so many other places. Forever indebted to Cleveland Heart Suit. Every time Cleveland's house falls down in Family Guy, Immigrants, that's where my dad first lived when he came to America. Stipe Miocic. I scrolled and scrolled and scrolled trying to see if I had to be the one to say it. Glad I wasn't the first to think of our boy Stiopic and his immigrant mentality. Grover. All the li little chicks with the crimson lips say Cleveland rocks, Cleveland rocks. Quote. Drew Carey Show. Hot in Cleveland. Gotta love Betty White. Bone thugs in harmony. Fun times in Cleveland again. I'm gonna refrain from answering this. Urban Dictionary has ruined me. A field with thousands of clevers thrown into the ground. A large orange grain. Boom goes the dynamite. I don't know why but the color brown comes into my head. The rival. High school of the one I went to. One night after a basketball game. The bleachers emptied and students from both schools started brawling in the street. I'm talking a few hundred kids all fighting each other. It was fucking bananas. It was on the news and everything. And we had a big assembly with a lot of apologies and had to promise not to start a fucking riot. Again, Los Angeles area, not Portland. Family guy. No, 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 no. I gotta stop taking my baths during Peter's shenanigans. A balding man in an oversized sweater striking a Ford Ranger with a tire iron at the speaker box of a White Castle drive through Red Skelton. Cleveland, Ohio, of course. But specifically I hear Sublime singing it. From the song April 29th, 1992. WKRP in Cincinnati quarantine is making me lose my mind. The Browns. What a terrible team, but they still sell out. How the F at CK did they beat Philadelphia to have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Because the term rock and roll was first coined by a Cleveland DJ on the radio. And Philly's Cleveland if Cleveland aspired to be trashier. Leah Thompson having sex with a duck. The Indians choking in crucial postseason series. Cleveland rocks on Drew Carey. Cleveland rocks. The Drew Carey show. The Drew Carey show. All the the li little chicks with the crimson lips go. Drew Carey and Mimi. The Drew Carey show. The Drew Carey show. Drew Carey. Drew Carey show Cleveland rocks. The Cleveland rocks song from the Drew Carey show. Drew Carey yelling Ohio and the Echo, and the Browns, Family Guy, Drew Carey Show, Drew Carey Show, Drew Carey ha 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 Cleveland rocks, Drew Carey, Cleveland Brown, there's just no surf in Cleveland, USA, that's where I grew up, the hilariously awful football team is your, potholes, we're not Detroit, that one Family Guy spin-off nobody liked, oh block James, quote, Harvey Pecker, Fun times in Cleveland again. Still Cleveland. Cleveland. Exclamation mark. This is for you. Exclamation mark. Quote. Family Guy. The tourism video. Rocks and unrelated. They're not rocks. They're minerals. O-H-I-O. 30 Rock. C-L-E-E-E-V-E-L-A-N-D. This is for you. Quote. LeBron. We're not Detroit. Quote. We're not Detroit. It's not Detroit factory of sadness. For God's sakes Lemon we'd all like to flee to the Cleve. That hastily made Cleveland tourism video. That it rocks. The 22nd and the 24th president of the US Grover Cleveland. The Serial Podcast, Season 3, all about their justice system. Bridges, Cleveland. Not in any racist way at all, black people and buff white short men. Isn't there some sports team there? The episode of 30 Rock where Liz Lemon goes to Cleveland and is a supermodel by their standards. Machine Gun Kelly's song, Till I Die. No idea why that's the first thing that comes into my mind. I couldn't think of anything. Not from USA. This is the correct answer. Ohio. Brownies. 
LeBron or Rick Wild Thing, Vaughn. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.